Hi, today in Learning Technologies, we're going to introduce to you the ThinkPad by Lenovo uh, 260 version. This is an 8 gig touchscreen device with a pen. So let's take it out of the box. Inside the box, you're going to have your charger. So make sure that you store that somewhere convenient. And we're going to take out our piece of cardboard, drop that. And basically, the only other thing that's in here is the laptop. The laptop looks like this. It's a yoga version of a Lenovo, which means that it folds all the way flat. When it folds, it actually retracts the keypad so you don't hit them accidentally. And this is the touch surface, so you can touch that. It also has one other part, which is embedded right here, and that is your pen. This is a rechargeable pen and it charges very, very fast and lasts for quite a while. So the convenient thing is no batteries for you to replace. And we'll just stick that back in here. You will see along the sides are all your ports. So you're going to see your basic audio port here. Um, and here's your HDMI, which you're going to need for your smart boards. Your power button is right here. And conveniently, you've got some audio adjustment levels right there. Fingerprint scanner. On the other side, you're going to see your this is where you plug in the device and you're going to see a more advanced port replicator port that you're probably not going to use and some other ports here that you're not going to need. This is a USB port though, so you're going to want to you're going to want to use that. This is a USB port, you're going to want to use that as well. You can put an external micro SD card in here, so if you want more space, that's where you can do it. Inside is a 256 gig SSD, a solid state drive. So there's no spinning disk in this one. And like I said, eight gigs of RAM memory. I'm gonna turn this on by pushing the power button here and we're gonna log in just so you can see what happens. So this should boot up now and it should prompt us to log in. Your LTST will have touched this already and set it up for you. So most of your updates and other things should be done and the device should be pretty ready uh, for you to go. It should be joined to the domain and running pretty clean. So here, this wouldn't be a normal part of the boot cycle. This would be because it's picking up on an update and installing it. That may happen depending on where your machine is in the process and when it was done and when you receive it. So all those things could affect this. When you get a picture screen like this, it means you're going to be able to log in. So it prompts you for a control alt delete. So we're going to hit control alt delete. And right now it's not on our account. It may be on a test account or the SIA account. And if you don't see your account on this screen, then what you want to do is in the bottom left, hit other user. We're going to hit other user and we're going to sign in with our employee number. Sorry, I tapped the screen there. So I'm entering my normal employee number and log on to log on to a PC. And it's identified me and it's going to log me in now. So we're running Windows 10. You can tell by this icon in the back here that uh, shows light coming through a window. And this is going to go through a boot up process as it downloads your profile and sets everything up here for your account the first time. You won't have to do this each time, just the one time. You must log in on the school Wi-Fi the first time you log in. So you can't just grab this and go home and log in, it won't let you. You actually have to be at school the first time. All right, so that didn't take too long. This is our login screen. It looks very familiar um, to what you would have seen in Windows 7, but you are running Windows 10 now. So IE has come up by default, and I'm just gonna close it for now. You get a little notification, updates were installed, that's why it took so long there. It's a couple of things you wanna do just to make your environment um, a little easier to use. 
So we've got Chrome installed already, but you probably want it down here on the taskbar. So I'm going to right click on Chrome here and I'm going to say pin to taskbar. Now I've got my Chrome right down here. So that's great. Shortcuts and other things here, um, those are all on the staff portal. So really right now you don't need any of these. So all I'm going to do is select them all and I'm going to push delete. And it just takes them off our screen. So we've got a nice clean screen and we're ready to go. The first thing we would typically do is click on Chrome. So I clicked on that once and there's my Chrome, it's coming up. I haven't signed in on this computer because it's a brand new computer. So when I bring up Chrome, the first thing I probably want to do is go sign in. So I'm going to hit the settings in the top right, that little hamburger over there. I'm going to go down to settings and I'm going to say sign into Chrome. It's going to prompt me for my email address and I'm going to sign, go ahead and sign in. So Robert Long at OCSB.ca in this case and then I'll enter my password. And I'm going to link my data. So I've signed in on other machines of course previously so I'm going to link that data to this account and I'll be ready to go. I'm going to have it sync everything for me and say OK. Now I don't need my settings tab anymore and I am good to go. It's setting everything up, bringing in all my data, all my links and everything for me. So that's great. And the first thing I would probably do is just go to Gmail and do my mail. And there you are. So you're all ready to go. That's pretty much all you need to do on a basic setup. So I'll just close that. This is your new machine. There'll be further instructions on how to use pens and other things as we move forward. But to boot up and get going, that's all you need to do. Thanks.